Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, um, this is not a terror reading, which I wish it was a terror reading, but I, I just need to get on here. I need to rant. I need to put my two cents into uh, a video that I just saw. Um, I, I, I can't. So, I watched Michael B. Petty's video, or his react to Amberlynn Reed's, um, Vlogmas, I think it's like day nine of Vlogmas or whatever. Anyways, I have a problem with probably the third of that vlog of today. And my, my hellion of a kitten won't stop playing with the curtains or anything while I'm trying to, trying to record this, so I'm so sorry. So, my problem was is that Amber Lynn was going on about how her dog Twinkie, which I believe Twinkie is a Chihuahua, if I believe if I believe correctly. And pretty much like she said like Amber Lynn said that like her bed was on the floor and that, you know, Twinkie couldn't get up. Apparently, like she was shaking in pain from excruciating pain. Okay, here's my thing. If you've got a dog that is acting weird, then the first thing you should do is take it to the vet. First thing in the morning. Now, what pisses me off is that Amber Lynn said in her video that, oh, like, there's no emergency vets where she lives. Bull. Bull. Because I live in a town of 3,000, and there, the veterinary even has a emergency vet on call. Because pretty much what they will do is that when you reach the answering machine, they'll say, call this number. You call the number on the vet that's on call for that day. And it, it enrages me because, you know, basically it's like she, her whole demeanor of the first third of that vlog was just like, oh, I really don't, you know, like, oh yeah, like, feel sorry for me, like what Michael B. Petty has stated. And... Cat, quit peeing the hellion. Sorry. And um, and the thing is, is that you know, like she, her demeanor was like, oh, I really don't care. It's all about me. I'm being narcissistic. It's all about me. It's the me show. Who gives a, you know, who gives a damn about my, my animals? Let me tell you something. I had a horse that got attacked by a dog, and we called the vet as an emergency call. Granted, it was 15 till 5 before we found my horse, but the thing was is that we didn't have enough time to hook up the trailer, load her in, and then get to town before they closed at 5. So we called them and it was an emergency call. They even listed it as an emergency call, as an emergency, you know, because my horse's face got partially ripped apart by a dog. And they still came out. And like I said, and then like what pissed me off even more was she went to Walmart and was riding around in a scooter and was like, oh yeah, like let's get this. And then they were talking about like, oh, we'll try this and it'll take two weeks. So you're going to leave Twinkie in pain for two weeks. What the fuck? Sorry to cuss, but that just enrages me. And then on top of that, then... You know, Amberlynn and Becky, which I believe with Destiny and Dana, they went to freaking Chili's and, you know, and even Michael B. Petty brought it up that, like, the vet was six minutes away from Chili's and they could not be bothered to take their dog to the vet. That enrages me so freaking much. That pisses me off because apparently all she cares about is feeding her fat ass than taking care of her, her animal that probably is in excruciating pain for whatever reason. For whatever goddamn reason, Amber Lynn could not be bothered to take her own animal to the goddamn vet. And that pisses me off to no end. And then she basically lied saying that, like, oh, there's no emergency vets. Yeah, like Michael B. Petty even found a, you know, a vet that basically, you know, for emergency, you know, services and this like that. So, it, that just shows, like, what type of person I think she really is. I consider her an animal abuser because she wasn't even willing to go take, you know, Twinkie to the fucking vet 
you know, first thing in the morning and pretty much like, oh, apparently Chili's was more important than, you know, caring about your animal. I, don't, I think Amberland should have all her animals taken away by animal control or whatever, or the Humane Society, whatever is back there in Kentucky. And she should be banned forever from having pets because that, that, it, that's, there is no excuse for that. None whatsoever. There is no excuse. And Amberlynn, I am, if you're watching this, you need to step up to the freaking plate and go take your dog to the vet. If you do not, then you should not have animals. You should surrender your animals to the vet and they will take them to the Humane Society as like a no-kill shelter or whatever. Because I, quite frankly, you do not deserve any of your pets. But I'm going to end this, I'm just going to end this video before it gets way too long. But hopefully you, everyone likes, subscribe, and comments, and... You know, I just wanted to vent and put my two cents in the situation.